So anyway, something I just said, I said a while back. In football, it's the Patriots. Baseball, it's the Yankees. Who is the who is the basketball team? I mean, Golden State now is the top dog, the standard that everyone has to go by. But I don't really feel like people hate them. I mean, there's definitely a portion of the country that doesn't like Golden State, especially teams in the West. San Antonio, Houston, um, OKC. But across the country, I don't feel like there's a unanimous consensus that this team sucks. We don't want this team to win. Like there seems to be with the Patriots or the Yankees. But maybe LeBron. I think maybe LeBron has that. People who follow LeBron take a lot of heat. And I don't understand the beef with LeBron. And I don't understand this, this, this myth of loyalty in sports. It doesn't exist. There's no loyalty. The only loyalty that exists somewhat is if you grew up somewhere and you continue to root for that team. And again, hats off to you. Great job. No one cares. No one cares. Okay? Because when that team makes a decision, they're not consulting you. They don't care what you think. They'll fire a good coach. They'll trade good players. They'll they'll tank. Even though you worked hard and you paid for your ticket to go to that game, they'll tank just to try to get a high draft pick. No, there's no loyalty. So my hat's, hat's off to LeBron. He played the game right. I think LeBron plays the game right and he's not given enough credit. Because what's his job? He's an entertainer. At the end of the day, he's an entertainer, an athlete, and a businessman. He is very entertaining. He's been to, what, the last eight Seven or eight finals. He's extremely personable. Extremely charitable. Then he's an athlete. Amazing. You can't deny that he's not an amazing athlete. And lastly, he's a businessman. Maybe firstly, he's a businessman. But he's a businessman. And he makes smart business decisions. I would argue that going back to Cleveland was not a smart business decision. I think he did it for sentimental reasons. And it worked out. I'm thankful that it worked out. But if he decides to leave next year, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. He gave Cleveland a championship. He's had them in the championships three of the last four years. For the last, just for the last three years. He's done his job. Thank him and let him go. It's a business. If he starts to wane, I, which I'll park it, put a pin in it. I have a lot of respect for Mark Cuban for what he did with Dirk Nowinski. That man deserved to retire a Maverick. And that's something I learned early with Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Even Emmett Emmett Smith as well. There's no loyalty. When you can't play or they don't think you're doing well, you're out. You're out. Peyton Manning, you're out. Peyton Manning, you're on the bench. There's no loyalty. You're fooling yourselves. Enjoy the game. Enjoy enjoy the party. Enjoy the trip to the game. The tailgating. You know? 